This is a show of work from 18 artists from China who were selected partly because they're one of the most interesting group of people at work in China today. Simon Groom, who's head of uh, exhibitions here, has been thinking about doing this for many years. This is not new. When we started work on The Real Thing, I think the main point was not to have any curatorial theme. We wanted to find artists who perhaps had a work that they'd been thinking about for a long time, but because of circumstances, they hadn't been able to do it. And we wanted to have an opportunity, no matter how challenging, to let them do that piece of work. We've tried to include a wide range of media in the show to really reflect what is happening now that we think is of artistic interest rather than mercantile interest. This show really distinguished itself, I think, from any other show of contemporary Chinese art in the number of really spectacular commissions that we've been able to, to achieve. One of the works I think that offers a very interesting uh, comment on China now is Yang Fudong's new work that was specially commissioned by Tate uh, for the show, uh, which is called East of Trier Village. What it is is a film that's really about um, the existence as experienced by a lot of people who live outside of those sort of up-and-coming and rapidly developing urban centers. And he makes this stark comparison between the dogs that scavenge for a living there and the people, meaning that the living conditions between the two are actually very little different. And I think it's an incredibly poignant piece that looks at sort of, you know, the, just the humanity and the human issues for China today. You come into the building here, you see a sign that says only 118 steps to the top of Everest. This is a piece produced by Shanghai-based artist Xu Zhen, which uh, comprises all the equipment and documentation of a trip to Everest he made last year, including the top of the mountain, which is presented in a marvelous glass case. This is a marvelous work in, in illustrating the humor of which the Chinese artists are capable. Um, it's also something that really challenges perceptions about what you're really looking at when you walk into this space and see this monumental um, container with, with, with the mountain top in it. This show isn't limited to just the things in the gallery, but also includes commissions for outside. And of course, we went for the most ambitious, which is a floating chandelier with 800 bulbs in it made of real crystal. That was put together in China and um, it finally floated for the opening of the exhibition. We've also commissioned a firework spectacular by this young group based in the south of China. It's not just a spectacle, it really is announcing that actually there's a new generation of, of Chinese artists that have arrived. And really, it's a signal to the older generation, watch out, the young Chinese are on their way.